someone who has been loving my podcast, you want to learn more about your eczema and why it's flaring, how is that related to your gut, how is your gut related to your mindset and your hormones and how to heal these symptoms that you might be experiencing, then you definitely want to come to this training. I don't do trainings as much as I used to back then (laughs) when I first started, but I am doing this training on Wednesday, September 25th at 4 p.m. PST, 7 p.m. EST. You guys got to come. I'm so excited. I have so much to share and I want to help you heal your symptoms, feel better in your body. You can register for the free training at the show notes below. Leave your name, leave your email, you'll get a confirmation into your email inbox, and then we will see you there on Wednesday, September 25th. When you attend training, you also get to enter to win a free giveaway, which I'm going to share at the training. So guys, you're going to be learning so much and you're going to be winning free gifts. How amazing is that? So let's get into today's episode because this is a topic that I'm sure a lot of you have heard about. You know that fiber is important. You know to eat more vegetables in your diet. But why exactly do you need to include fiber? Why is it so important? Because we know that nowadays with social media, everyone's like keto diet, carnivore diet, you know, plants aren't good for you. You got to avoid beans and legumes because there's anti-nutrients. Like there's so much misinformation on the internet that it's really fucking confusing as to what to actually eat for your body and what does the actual science say. And so this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you why you actually need fiber. Why is it crucial for your health? And I'm going to be debunking some of the myths when it comes to these diets because I'll just get into it because you'll you'll understand what I mean. So let's talk about what exactly fiber is. So I'm going to break it down very easily for you guys. I know, you know, if you're not in the medical field, if you're not in the science field, you know, some of the terms used might not make sense or might be difficult for you to understand, but I'm going to try my best to explain everything in simple terms as much as possible. Because I know when I was in school, These scientific terms, I'm like, the fuck? (laughs) I don't understand. So I'm going to make it easy for you. Okay, so fiber is a type of carbohydrate. And carbohydrates are one of the three main macronutrients. So macronutrients are protein, fats, and then carbohydrates. So when fiber is a carbohydrate, it's different than the carbohydrates we think of when it comes to sugar and starch because your body can't actually fully digest fiber and it doesn't get broken down in the way that sugar does. Sugar gets broken down when you eat, you know, a piece of cake. It gets broken down into glucose, which is a form of sugar, and it gets absorbed in your bloodstream. But what fiber does instead is that it passes through your digestive system relatively intact And it has several different functions along the way. Fiber is really great for your gut health. It helps with digestion. It helps with satiety and a multitude of different functions. But I want to talk about three main key points, three or four main key points when it comes to why fiber is crucial for your health. When you consume fiber from your meals, and fiber usually comes from plant-based foods. So all vegetables, all fruits have fiber. So do beans and legumes like chickpeas, kidneys, lentil beans. Those all have sources of fiber. When you eat these foods, what fiber does from these foods is that basically food for the beneficial bacteria in your gut. To have a healthy gut microbiome, you need to have beneficial bacteria over bad bacteria. Now, unfortunately, in the world we live in today, because of stress, because of poor diet, because of overuse of antibiotics or prescription of medications, environmental toxins, we have more bad bacteria than beneficial bacteria in our gut. And so fiber is important because it is the food for the good bacteria. What these good bacteria do is that it ferments the fiber. So when you eat that apple and you chew it and digest it, and you swallow it, it enters into your GI tract and enters your gut. The bacteria, the good bacteria in your gut, then ferments the fibers of this apple. And it produces something called short-chain fatty acids. And so when these short-chain fatty acids are produced, they produce things like butyrate, 
propionate, acetate, which are hugely, hugely beneficial for gut health. There are several studies that talk about short-chain fatty acids such as butyrate that help to maintain the gut lining. It provides fuel source for the actual cells in the colon. And we need it to provide fuel and nutrients for the colon cells because that's what prevents us from getting conditions like leaky gut. It helps to repair and strengthen the gut barrier, which gets damaged from a lot of other root causes. But generally speaking, having enough fiber helps to produce these short-chain fatty acids, which then help to prevent leaky gut and reduce inflammation. There is a study in 2023 where they looked at how changes in short-chain fatty acid levels has been associated with gut diseases like IBD, inflammatory bowel disease. And so they found an association that when there's low levels of short-chain fatty acid, maybe because someone's not eating enough fiber in their diet, right? Then that's associated with inflammatory bowel disease. So besides the fact that we need fiber to produce these short-chain fatty acid, the second reason why fiber is crucial for your health, I'm sure you guys know this, is it helps with your poop, <laughs> right? A lot of you who come to me, listen to this podcast or your my client, have maybe struggled with some kind of gut problem. And let's say you're someone who is more prone to constipation. While there could be so many different root causes as to why you have constipation, one of the reasons is because maybe you have a lack of fiber. I would say the majority of the population are deficient in fiber. People just don't eat enough fiber. When I ask my friends what their typical intake is of the day, like what their diet is during the day, they're not eating enough fiber. My friends love to eat meat and bread and carbs. And, you know, I'm not trying to shame these foods at all because I love meat. I love my chicken. I love my fish. I love my pork. You know, I come from an Asian family. We eat a lot of meat. <laughs> but typical standard American diet or just diets in general just focus a lot more on processed food and a lot more on meat. But you need fiber in order to have a good healthy digestion. Fiber helps to add bulk to your stool. When you don't eat enough fiber, you're going to get constipated. You're not going to be able to poop every day. If you're not pooping every day, then you're definitely constipated. And I know some of you guys might be like, but Julia, I know people who go on these carnivore diets and they are pooping every day. So does that mean that they don't need fiber in order to poop? Not completely true. The thing is with a lot of people who go on these carnivore diets is number one, they're going on it because they want to lose weight because the carnivore diet is pretty low in carbohydrates because all you really eat is meat. And so your body enters ketosis and you burn fat for energy, blah, 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 blah. And the other reason, well, there's a couple other reasons, but there's also people who go on carnivore diets because they can't tolerate a normal diet where there's fiber and plant foods. They have food sensitivities or they have reactions. And so rather than finding the root cause of why they have problems digesting plant-based foods, they just decide to go on these carnivore diets and that solves all of their symptoms temporarily. But what happens when they try to come off these diets? It's no different than coming off an elimination diet, right? It doesn't resolve their issues. Their symptoms come back. They can't tolerate plant foods. They gain all the weight back because it is not a long-term solution. So yes, even though some of these people, when they go on these carnivore diets, they lose a bunch of weight and they can poop every day. They're going to have to be on these diets basically forever because if they try to come off of it, they're going to experience symptoms. And I know there's a lot of people that talk on the internet where they've healed a lot of their illnesses and all these things. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. However, the science says that the gut microbiome needs fiber, needs plant-based foods in order to flourish. Okay. My opinion on this carnivore diet movement is short term. Yes. Some benefits long term, not good for you because of the lack of fiber, lack of diversity in your diet, lack of short chain fatty acid fermentation from fiber, all the things that you need to have a good healthy microbiome and your microbiome is literally linked to all illnesses. If you don't have a healthy, diverse microbiome, you're going to experience health issues at some point in your life, okay? So what I'm trying to say is when it comes to fiber intake, you need it in order to have a healthy digestion, promote good bowel movements, 
which is what you need for detoxification and elimination. Fiber actually binds with toxins that you get from the environment, from food, etc. And it eliminates out of your body through proper daily bowel movement. It also binds to estrogen. A lot of people experience excess estrogen in their body, estrogen dominance. And so if you are someone who's working on balancing your hormones and getting rid of excess estrogen, then you want to be eating enough fiber into your diet. The last thing I want to say with fiber besides your digestion is that it actually is a really good way to control your blood sugar levels. So if you're someone who is diabetic, someone who has high blood sugar, adding some more fiber into your diet is going to be helpful for that. Fiber actually helps to regulate how sugar enters your bloodstream. And so the more that you can get from fruits and vegetables and having a varied diet, the better it is to help to prevent blood sugar spikes, improve insulin sensitivity, and also reducing the risk of conditions like type 2 diabetes. The bottom line, guys, is that everybody on this planet (laughs) needs fiber to maintain a healthy gut environment, okay? You need it. You literally need it to survive. And if you're feeling amazing without eating fiber in your diet, I'm not trying to scare y'all, but over a period of time, a few months, a few years, I don't know how long, you're going to notice problems, period. There is too much science that talks about how important it is to get plant-based foods and fiber into your diet. It is literally crucial for everyone. It is crucial for your gut health. It is crucial for your eczema. It is crucial for your hormones. It is crucial for your immune system. Like you need it, oh guys. You need it in your diet on a regular basis. That's all I have to say about today's episode. I got really like into it. I'm like so passionate about this topic. And so if you want to learn more about the gut microbiome, more about this topic, I'm holding my deodorant. I'm like, <laughs> and everything related to the gut brain skin connection and diving deeper into all of the things I talked about today, then make sure you sign up for the free training in the show notes below. And that's what I have for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. The best thing you can do for the podcast is leave us a review on Apple iTunes and Spotify. If you leave a review on Apple iTunes and send a screenshot to hello at juliachen.ca, then you'll get a free visualization specifically for eczema healing. But you can also apply these affirmations to any other parts of your healing journey. If you're experiencing other symptoms, And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys at this free training and we will see you also at the next episode. Bye guys.